Update 19 is right around the corner with some huge quality of life changes as well as some new content for us to enjoy. In this video, we will be going over each and every important leak that I've seen so far so that you guys can be ready for tomorrow's update and know what to expect. While I did think this would be a boring update due to the fact that there's a two week break for clan battles, it turns out Big Games does have some cool plans and it seems like there is a lot of content for this week. And if you want to be the most up to date on Pet Simulator 99 content, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Now let's get right into these leaks. All right, you guys. So the first of the leaks that we're going to be going over is this leak from Big Games, which I'll have on the screen here, which basically just shows that we're getting this new Lucky Tiles event be put in the game. Now I've seen a lot of predictions on what people think this new Lucky Tiles event is going to be like, but so far we have a few clues that point to what we can expect. For example, we have these new rave bags. So essentially like other gift bag events that we've had in the past, it seems like pretty much every event has some sort of gift bag that includes a huge. So it seems like for this event, these rave gift bags are going to be the vehicle for how we get these new huges. Now, another leak we did get are actually these tile tokens. So I have seen some predictions from the community that people think these tile tokens are going to be used to craft the rave gift bags. And that isn't too far fetched from what we've seen in the past. So it's definitely possible. For example, in the past, we've seen things like cores being the crafting material for making gift bags, as well as seashells for the summer gifts. And even in the good versus evil world, we have the devil horns as well as the angel feathers, which are used to craft the gift bags. So a lot of people think these new tile tokens are going to be used to craft these grave gift bags. So currently at the moment, from what I've seen, there's no leaks about like what you're going to be doing to actually get these tiles. So I don't know if these are going to be like really good gift bags or just really bad gift bags that everybody has access to. We'll have to wait to see till tomorrow for that. I've seen this picture of a leaked rave gift machine, but I'm not sure if it's really real. It doesn't seem too real to me. It just seems like some concept art that somebody made. But honestly, I don't think it's too far from what we can expect to see for tomorrow. But just take it with a grain of salt. Besides the Lucky Tiles event, we also got these leaks of a Titanic Kitsune Fox as well as a huge Kitsune Fox which actually could be what's included in the new exclusive egg that we see tomorrow. If you didn't know already, for the past four exclusive eggs, Big Games has only made them available for two weeks, and the current flex eggs have been available for two weeks starting tomorrow, so that's why we're expecting to see a new exclusive egg in the update tomorrow, but we haven't gotten any new leaks or images of what we can expect that egg to actually look like. But this Titanic Kitsune Fox and the huge version of it could definitely be included in whatever new exclusive egg we see tomorrow. But obviously we have no confirmations on that. This is just what we can go off of. We also did get this leak of a rave chest being included in tomorrow's update. So I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be some sort of chest that we open with keys or if it's going to be some sort of boss chest that maybe gives us those tiles that's used to craft the gift bags. Honestly, we have no way of knowing at this point. But as you guys know, Big Games has been putting a lot of boss chests in these last few updates so i don't think it's too crazy to assume that this could be some sort of boss fight that's included in the update for tomorrow as well as this there's also confirmation that we're getting a rave pack so I assume this is going to be the Rave Forever pack that we've seen in pretty much every single one of the events in the last few updates. So for all of you guys who love draining your Robux on this game, for whatever reason, that's going to be available for you. So good luck. Now, next up is probably one of the coolest leaks that we've gotten so far. And honestly, if this really works well, I think this could be probably one of the best additions to an update that we've seen in months. Now I'll have the tweet from David on the screen here where he basically asks who wants quality of life improvements and he posts this picture of a keybinds page which essentially has multiple keybinds that you can set and you can set them for specific items to I guess place them or use them. So this would be an absolutely amazing addition to the game. It would make things so much smoother for PC players obviously. I guess this change wouldn't really affect people who are playing on mobile because you don't have keys to bind anything to. But for the PC players this is a huge change. It's going to make it a lot easier to place flags, use items. It's just an amazing quality of life change that we've definitely needed in the game and honestly we probably shouldn't even be so excited about such a simple thing that they could have added like seven months ago at this point either way i like to look at things pretty positively and honestly i i really like this change so shout out to big games for this one i'm definitely looking forward to this update because of this one feature now the last big leak that we're going to go over is actually player profiles in game 
So essentially, when you walk up to somebody in game, there's going to be some new option to actually view their profile. Now, I'll have a picture on the screen here of what that actually looks like. This is going to be a really cool feature because you're going to be able to see some really cool stats like total playtime the player has, the amount of huges they've hatched, the date they actually joined the game, upgrades they have, how many zones they bought, and how many relics they claimed. So obviously, this change doesn't really add much to the game, but it's still a cool little additional feature that might make interacting with people in the trading lobbies and other places in the game just a little bit better. So that's definitely pretty cool. Honestly, a lot of these quality of life changes are the biggest parts and the most remembered parts about these updates. So as long as this new Lucky Tiles event is cool tomorrow, I think this update will be a big W. But that's just my opinion. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this update. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.